Uh, I'm Shreya. So uh, I am an architect, and I worked in a. I used to work in a design firm that dealt with um, uh, different urban issues and also like in campaigns and other public projects. So like after my uh, undergrad, I was kind of looking for work and also for studying a bit more on a broader like urban issues and like how like uh, like zooming out a bit from the kind of built centric education that I had. So um, while I was but I was not quite sure as to which path to take. So to um, when I was searching, I actually found back in 2019. I found the Urban Fellows Program, but at that time, the applications were closed. Then I actually subscribed to the newsletter, and in 2020, when the ad applications opened, I actually got to know it from the newsletter. One of the major things I wanted, or I wanted to explore was um, <clears throat> how uh, the different like um, themes or like what actually like whenever I worked in something um, you could always feel certain gaps as to um, maybe the entire design or the entire process uh, or be it a campaign or whatever it is it might be on paper it might be good but uh, there were a lot of gaps that so um, I really wanted to know and I was uh, quite uh, a bit mm, not very satisfied with the kind of curriculum that we had in our undergrad. So I kind of wanted to explore more. Uh, so that's one of my main reasons uh, to actually join, to actually get to know how other disciplines actually view these urban issues. I personally, I feel like it's a sort of a um, natural curve because um, of co the, the fellowship does have like um, definitely the planning and uh, uh, some of the other themes that we taught ha have connection with my bachelor's with architecture. There are connections, but um, because I had a uh, it it kind of was kind of a natural transition from the kind of work I did after um, my education. So yeah, in s certain ways it was aligned. So I was a bit skeptical as to how doing an online thing would be feasible, uh, but yeah, it it actually worked out. <laughs> in many ways uh, so yeah that it, it was in a way like uh, I th there were elements that I felt like when I came like there were restrictions which could not be helped but I feel like with the COVID restrictions with the situation that is in it had been a good adaptation <laughs> One thing definitely would be my cohort because I get to hear and like hear things like new new things or like things from newer perspectives from people because it's not a very homogeneous crowd and that kind of like even pushes you to think in different directions. So uh, and the kind of um, you know, learning each, like helping in learning thing that we as a cohort have, that is one of the major things I can. <laughs> one of the skill labs that I took and I was most excited about was the writing skill because um, I have always felt writing, like a uh, structural, like writing was never a main thing uh, given the kind of uh, background that I have. So I really wanted to refine my writing style and to kind of 
get out of all the jagani writing that i used to do so in that way um, both the um, uh, skill labs in the common term and the advanced skill uh, writing lab uh, in the elective term have been helpful to kind of um, uh, refine my approach towards writing and uh, help me write a bit more easily <laughs> practica here was an entirely different field engagement for me uh from my whatever i've done so far because uh from the kind from the background and the education that i had so i am always um leaning to looking at the spatial of a site or like i naturally go to the how the built is so um the practica field was kind of a very uh good unlearning exercise for me because i had to force myself to uh, or train myself to look at other aspect to uh look at the site differently and also like to find a kind of balance between how i theorize and how do i use the frameworks so yeah so our practica for our practica um the theme even the theme we got were like about local governance so uh that like it was a very interesting to see how it actually played out in the neighborhood and yeah i guess that was a very good and learning exercise for me so like um this is for the fir- like i guess it's mm, for everyone but it's for the first time that uh, i am in such a diverse both in terms of um the uh, disciplines we come from and also from the mm, uh, regions that we come from so it's a very um i think it has been very helpful for me to kind of reorganize our thing and uh it's been a very helpful and good learning environment so um the project uh again is kind of like a very much deviation from the uh, field i come from so um the project is about a media review of how the um, official communication regarding the pandemic goes to the tribal areas in nilgiri bayaswe so um one i am learning a new method that uh, i am uh, learning a new method to look at uh, places and from that literature how uh, uh, they they are describing the uh, spatial um, conditions of the place and i get to um, work with uh I'll, another foundation that's on field and so it's a uh, quite a new experience because um i um, so basically it was a an experiment as to <laughs> how i can kind of widen my um skills and the kind of works that i deal with. currently i'm doing it through a secondary uh, literature review of the newspapers in um the regional language and i'm um, uh, sort of reviewing how the issues have been uh, how like a to how these people are being represented in the mainstream media and also how communications go to them so um and also it gives an idea about how a certain prominent gaze about uh, is prevalent in in the main media when when you talk about the issues of these um indigenous population it's not going to be a very overnight process where you get a clear idea and you get yourself all figured out it's a part of a process <laughs>